In this video, we look at the Snap menu in FreeCAD. Let's get started. Next, we can move back to the Snap menu. Snapping allows you accurately align and position objects in the scene. There are many different snap types available, each with a specific purpose. Clicking to highlight the snap element switches it on. It's best only enable the snap elements you may need, as having too many enabled can cause confusion. The first button on this toolbar is Lock All. Switching this off disables snapping. We can switch this back on and take a look at snapping in FreeCAD. Let's switch all these snap types off and just look at the first one here, Snap Endpoint. Let's switch into a top view for this example. Make sure the grid is switched on here. We can select the line tool from the Draft Creation toolbar. Left click to place the first point. Then press and hold Shift so the line straightens and move the cursor across here. Then left click for a second point. The Snap Endpoint setting will allow us snap a new line to either endpoint of this line. So select the line tool again. If we come close to the endpoint, a small circle appears over the endpoint with a small icon of the endpoint snap. So left click to snap to the endpoint of the line. Then drag away and click for the second point. There are some snap settings in preferences, so let's open this up. We can open the draft tab on the side here. Then across the top, open the grid and snapping tab. The first setting, always snap, activates snap automatically when hovering the cursor. Disabling this means you can use the control key to enable snap mode. Then the shift constraint, snap mode and alt mode keys can be changed from the drop downs. You can also display or hide the draft toolbar and after use. Let's click OK and close preferences. The remaining snap types work in a similar way, so the next one will snap to the midpoint of edges. The next is Snap Center and works on circle objects with circular edges. Next is Snap Angle. This snaps to points on a circular edge separated by 30 or 45 degrees. Snap Intersection snaps to the intersection of two edges. This is reliant on the edges having been drawn on the same plane, and that's why the working plane setting is important. We'll be looking at how this works in the next video. Next is Snap Perpendicular, and snaps to the perpendicular points on faces and edges. Snaps into a perpendicular point on another edge. Snap Extension allows you extend from another edge and snap aligned. Let's look at an example, so enable this snap setting. If we select the line tool, I can draw a couple of lines in here first. Now if we drag away from the end of this line, a dotted line appears and we can drag out along, extending from this edge. If we hover on this edge across here and drag up, this edge also extends out and we can snap to the intersection. Really useful snap setting. Next is Parallel and lets you draw a parallel line to an existing line. Snap Special works with arc objects and provides additional snap points not ordinarily available to the other snap settings. Snap Near will snap to the nearest point along an edge or a face. Snap Auto gives angle options of 45 degrees from the previous point. So with this active, we can select the line command. Click and place the first point. Now drag out about 45 and the snap icon will display indicating the angle. So click for the second point. This is relative to the world coordinate system. Snap Grid snaps to the grid intersections. The grid spacings can be controlled from preferences. Open the draft tab, then grid and snapping. Here, grid spacing is currently one millimeter and controls the spacing. Also, the grid size can be controlled here also. We can close preferences. If you do update the grid properties, then update those changes by switching the grid on and off here. We can skip snap working plane as I want to show an example in the next video. Snap Dimension shows a temporary dimension. So if we draw another line here, the dimension will show as we are creating it. Very useful when drafting. 
Then the final button is switching the grid on and off. We can look at the snap working plane in the next video.